Hi, I'm Pete Quist for Business Blueprint and I'm standing outside an orphanage here in Thailand created by the Hands Across the Water Foundation and Peter Baines. This orphanage was created as a result of the Boxing Day tsunami here in Thailand that devastated so much of the country. So many children were left without brothers, sisters and of course their parents, in some cases their entire family. And on an ongoing basis this orphanage is supporting some of those children. We've brought across 60 entrepreneurs from Australia and New Zealand who are experiencing over the next two days firsthand exactly what the money and donations are going towards to help out these children. So I want you to come on a journey with me as we laugh, we'll cry and we'll share some amazing stories with some of the children and organisers of this incredible establishment. Brought to you by businessblueprint.com.au My name's Peter Baines and I'm the, uh, the founder of a charity called Hands Across the Water and uh, I established the charity back in 2005 after spending three months working over here leading the Australian teams in the identification of the, the people who died following the Boxing Day tsunami. Right now um, we're in um, uh, Kowalak which is um, uh, it's about an hour and a quarter's drive um, north of Phuket Airport from a reference point of view and uh, um, this was the worst affected area in all of Thailand and um, uh, probably about uh, 40 minutes drive from here is a temple called Wat Yan Yao and um, um, I arrived at Wat Yan Yao in early January of 2005 and there was three and a half thousand bodies on the ground and uh, they were collected from this area and taken to the temple and, and this was the worst affected area from here north um, for probably about uh, 50 kilometres was the worst affected area uh, in all of Thailand if you if you measure the loss by the number of people who lost their lives. Following the tragedy of the Boxing Day tsunami, lives had to be rebuilt. For some children, they'd lost both of their parents. Hands Across the Water gives these children a place to grow up in an environment of love, friendship and hope. Through Dale Beaumont and the Business Blueprint program, a group of 60 entrepreneurs and business owners from Australia were given the opportunity to come across to the orphanage in Thailand. They were not only able to see the children, but also check out some of the programs that were allowing the orphanage to become financially self-sufficient. Um, we are in the rubber plantations um, at the moment and we're helping clearing, clearing, clearing it out. We've got a good team of people all working through here and we've got a couple of the Thai guys with us with the whippersnipper in there going hell for leather so sometimes we're um it's a it's a hard slog in this heat and this humidity but I'll tell you what it's all worth it and it's great to get home and see the smiling faces of the kids when we get back there the group also lent a helping hand for some of the other projects at the rubber plantation including building concreted rock retaining walls replacing a roof for one of the buildings and back at the orphanage even put on a feast for the locals so not only was it spending time with the kids, it was also giving back in some of the sustainable projects as well. Putting this project together has been a dream of Dale Beaumont's and the team at Business Blueprint for quite some time and bringing it all together was something very special. Hi, I'm Dale Beaumont. I'm the founder of Business Blueprint. We're a business education company designed to help our members to increase their profits and their income and ultimately build a more lifestyle driven business. But one of the things we're also passionate about as well is giving back because we believe that to him much is given, much is asked. And as entrepreneurs, we have a responsibility in order to use our resources that we have, both our time and our money, to give back to others that don't have the opportunities that we do. And as the orphanage grows, it provides even more children an opportunity at life who are desperately in need of one. And it's all thanks to Hands Across the Water and the exceptional team of dedicated staff. We have children who stay with us and we, we try to give them future and the children, they are young. We, my aim is to teach them to be a good people and I hope in the future our children can be the real model for another generation, for another children that uh, be good, love and share to each other. Words simply can't describe the incredible dedication of this wonderful team that look after the orphanage. 
headed up by Kun Rochna, who herself has an incredibly emotional story. The team is absolutely dedicated to each and every one of the children and their future. The success of this orphanage simply wouldn't be possible without the amazing dedication of Kun Rochna and her team. The incredible support of Hands Across the Water and Peter Baines and the selfless generosity of those that give, such as the business owners and entrepreneurs that made the visit to the orphanage on this trip. And judging by their words, the experience was emotional and rewarding. The orphanage was just absolutely life-changing. It was amazing and just such an honour and a privilege to be able to be part of. We're just so touched by the number of wonderful children and people who have really made this orphanage possible. I think I've been very, very fortunate in life and just the opportunity to give back a, a, a small amount is, is just fantastic. There's, um, there's nothing but beautiful smiles here and beautiful kids. The love and care that they get from the community that they're, they're lucky enough to be in now uh, is outstanding. How happy these children are uh, where they don't have the material wealth against the, or the material trappings that we have, say, in Australia or in a Western culture, and we can learn a lot from that. The um, happiness that they have, it, when I was thinking about coming here, just didn't know what to expect with the kids, whether they would be um, quite upset or, you know, in a shell or something like that, but they're just so open, dancing around and, you know, having the time of their lives. You know, they don't know anything else, but they're just like immersed in love really at this place. You can just see that the money's been being put to good use and you, what I really like about the Hands Across the Water organisation is they've grown and grown and they continue to grow and they're, they're talking about sustainability and um, you know the, the organisation itself allowing the children you know not only feeding them but, but putting them through education and then those children actually giving back to the organisation. I had these two beautiful sisters and I was just, just pushing them on a swing and you know, my daughters love that, you know, and we'll, we can spend hours and they never want to get off the swing and to be able to just give that to two beautiful strangers that we've just met, knowing that these two girls will never get off the swing as long as I'm pushing it. <laughs> it's pretty good. As, as a dad, you know, we, we know what it's like. I've, I've been really taken just with, I don't know, the quality and, um, I don't know, just how inspirational this whole place is and, you know, mostly the children and those that work within it and, um, you know, you can sort of see that their lives in some ways are incredibly rich and I wasn't quite expecting that and so I've sort of come away feeling really quite humbled. Beyond the language barriers, simply seeing the smiles on those children's faces was just extraordinary. It's an experience that I never expected, but it's also something that I will never ever forget. And you too can get involved in Hands Across the Water in supporting them and being a part of this amazing cause by visiting www.handsacrossthewater.org.au. It really is an amazing organisation and one that we're so very proud to be a part of with Business Blueprint. And let me tell you, that trip and those children's smiles are something that we will never ever forget. Brought to you by businessblueprint.com.au